Okay, we're going to return to our friendly antigen presenting cell. Remember where we left off? We had a dendritic cell. It had bumped into this crazy thing, right? And um, I know it was a bacteria in the first one. I'm going to pretend it's the virus from the last video. I got bored drawing bacteria. Um, but, all right, so like this, this dendritic cell has bumped into this thing, it bumped into this virus, it ate the virus, and then it's displaying the viral antigens on its MHC2 right here. And we said, and then it needs to go tell somebody about this. So it went off to a lymph node where it's going to meet up with a bunch of lymphocytes. Unsurprisingly, lymphocytes like to hang out in lymph nodes. And specifically, the lymphocyte we're looking for here is a T cell and specifically a helper T cell, which is abbreviated TH. These are also sometimes called CD4 T cells because this thing here is a CD4 receptor. All right, now, um, remember how you had like millions of B cells and every B cell makes its own receptor, right? And so millions of B cells each make millions of different receptors or at least millions of similar receptors that all have different binding ends. T cells, all T cells make T cell receptors and Helper T cells make CD4 T cell receptors. And again, just like with the B cells, every T cell makes its own unique receptor. But they're not really shaped like antibodies here because they're not made to be exported. Instead, these uh, T cell receptors all have two parts, all right? They have a part that uh, binds MHC. And if we're talking about a helper T cell, it's going to bind MHC too. So this part there binds MHC too. And they have a second part which is the antigen binding cleft. And this is the part that's different in all of them, right? The part that binds MHC2 is the same. It only binds one thing, it binds MHC2. And the second bit, the, the antigen binding cleft is variable and this binds antigens. That's why it's called the antigen binding cleft. So there's, you know, a whole bunch of T cells in this uh, lymph node, and the dendritic cell is going to go to each of them. It's like, uh, it's kind of like Tinder for your immune system, right? And it's going to like, you know, no, you know, swipe, 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 swipe. Aha! This one I like. And it's going to go around, and nope, that one, yeah, it's too weird. It's just like doesn't look right, got a weird chin, who knows, you know, doesn't match up. And it's going to go through a whole bunch of those until it finds one that matches, that binds its antigen. The antigen binding cleft is going to bind what is being presented and the MHC2 will bind the CD4 portion. And both of those things have to happen. An antigen, this thing, this helper T cell, this could bump right into the virus and the virus could like stick its little spike right in that antigen binding cleft and it wouldn't matter. The T cell would not 
do anything at all. It takes both of these signals. You have to have something binding in the cleft, and you have to have an MHC2 binding to the, um, the, the CD4 portion. When both of those things happen, this helper T cell activates. And when it activates, it starts reproducing, making a whole bunch more helper T cells. Um, most of these are going to be what are called uh, help uh, uh, TH effector cells. Effector cells means that they're going to go out and do something. But some of the ones that it turns in, uh, that it, it, when it makes, when it divides, some of them might be memory cells. All right? So you're going to make a couple of memory cells to keep track of this important event. So the next thing that's going to happen is you've got all of these effector cells. They're going to spread out to the rest of the body. So they're going to take this signal. They're relaying a message. The message they are relaying is, hey, Dendritic cell told me that this thingy that he showed me from this virus, yeah, it's bad. We should kill it. That's what the message that it's going to relay to everyone else. And so these effector T cells, now they're going to spread throughout the body. And I wonder just who they will meet. Hmm. Tune in next time on The Immune 